Everybody, thanks for joining us tonight, man. It was fun to do this tonight. Um, crazy time we're living in, man. Crazy time. Nancy Sue, George, how you doing, man? God bless you too, Mike. Diane, how are you? Corey, back in the game. George, George, how you doing, brother? Survive. I can do survive, yeah. I, I mean, I don't really remember it much, Chris, but I could try to do that. Uh, Kenneth, what's up, man? Hi, Lynn, boy. Jane, how are you? Scott, how you doing? Scott, thank you, man. My pleasure. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening in. Billy Handy, how you doing, man? Love you too, brother. Lance, how are you? Amen. Let's have a Corona for Corona. No. Aquafina for Corona. Jim, thanks, man. It's hard to do that song late at night, man. It's a tough one. <clears throat> Lee Nelson, what's up, brother? Banging them drums. Lenore, awesome. It was fun tonight. Musical night. Anne Marie, how you doing? Susan, that's all we need to do at this point is just relieve stress. And yes, Dennis Farrell will be happy to know that I have officially shaved my beard. And I just left the old, you know, it's like my chin threw up. Something over here. Mr. Byrne, Warren, how are you? If you guys don't know, man, check out my friend John Byrne. Great doctor, great friend. Uh... He's got a lot of wisdom when it comes to things of about what's going on right now. Hands, I mean the hands, they're done, clean, sanitized. There is a young cowboy who lives on the range. His horse and his cattle are his only companion. He works in the saddle and he sleeps in the cabin, waiting for summer, his pastures to change. And as the moon rises, he sits by his fire. Thinking about women and glasses of beer Closing his eyes as the doggies retire he Sings out a song which is soft but it's clear As if maybe someone could hear Good night all you Light ladies, rock up by sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock by sweet baby James? Little JT. Mary Ann, you just missed your song. Talk a little more. Could we 
avoid this disaster? Can we get back to the days when we laughed, held each other? Well, it seems so right just to call you my lover who's to blame when we're older. It's a long way back to the days of old. If I was a better father, I've done a little more In the end there's nothing better Than going back to before When we laugh When we cuddle When you were first And there weren't any others Who's to blame When we're older And you take me Fighting for another day. Ooh. When we laugh with each other, it seems so. Live on the porch, this is the after show. Um, we could talk about things. If you want to talk about stuff, this is the time to do it. My voice is getting kind of fried, so the less songs you request, the uh, happier man I am. I'm tired, man. Uh, Bridget, well, smart, I don't know, but, you know, happy to, uh, happy to do this. I'd be lost without being able to play and without music, so I'm glad you guys get to share this with me and, and want to do this. Chris, I hope they pull out that long chairs. Yeah. Cause we really don't know our neighbors. We've been here a year, but it's not that kind of neighborhood. It's kind of like, you know, everybody has to say hello when they run into each other. That's about it. Carrie, I am not glued to, uh, am I glued to CNN? Well, no, I'm not really glued to any particular station. I just watch local news and they bring up everything that's going on and then I always go on social media to find out the breaking news. The social media seems to get it out so uh, so easily.
<laughs> yeah, man, it sucks that we, we got some shows canceled. So sorry to the people that, that got tickets to the uh, Paramount and, um, and also to Penn's Peak um, and obviously to the Garden, which we'll, we'll, you know, we'll be making those shows up. Uh, Tom, I am on the west coast of Florida. Thank you so much. Uh, John, any Iridium shows, he asked. Yeah, well, we actually tried to do another... Uh, we tried to get a couple more dates to do another uh, bunch of Billy rarities and that kind of thing. Um, just can't seem to lock down the date. Uh, but we're trying. The weather is gorgeous, man. It is... I mean, I'm outside right now. I don't know what time it is right now. It's probably, you know, 11, 12 o'clock at night. But... Uh, it's like 70 degrees, it's still, it's warm. The pool is screaming at me, so I'm gonna go in the pool, damn it, right after this and relax. The pool's about 98 degrees right now. Kathy Ann, how are you? Bob, ah, I needed it too, Bob. Danielle, hope it gets better. <clears throat> Mr. Marshak. Uh, Kathy, the, the Hard Rock, we're hoping to get into the Tampa Hard Rock. So, yeah, we have some connections there, and we're, you know, hopefully in the next year or two. But we're doing Disney. We are doing Epcot. So, uh... Ah, yes, on Mike Jules' birthday. Got it. Yeah, we'd love to meet you. Uh, perfect weather. Everything, is, uh, for anybody asking what's on the books, what's not on the books, everything's still there except for whatever you've heard about uh, that's been canceled. So otherwise, you know, we're, we're you know, we're going to keep doing what we do. Um... My mother used to always request this on here. Said, my love, down climb the mountain and turn around I saw my reflection in the snow covered hill to the landslide brought me down oh mirror in the sky what is love can I find Rise above And I sail through the changing ocean tide Can I handle the season of my life Trying so hard to sing quiet So I'm sorry if I'm fucking up I need you on this one.
climb a mountain, you turn around. If you see my reflection in the snow-covered hills, the landslide will bring it down, down. If you see my reflection in the snow. Or maybe the landslide will bring it down. Well, while the landslide will bring it down. All right. Anything by Chicago? Well, I know a lot by Chicago. Uh, I don't know what I could do on the guitar, though. Susan, thank you so much. I do miss the mosquito net, uh, Marianne, now that you're asking. But I got a lanai now with the screen. And we still get our ass freaking bit every day here. Somehow they sneak in. We let the dogs out. They sneak in and they, they mate. They do that thing. They fly around. They have sex in the lanai. And before you know it, we see patches of like gnats and fucking mosquitoes. Smack myself. Mr. Giordano, love you too, brother. Peter Gabriel. Ah. I don't know it. Uh, I get so lost sometimes. Ah, I wish I knew it. I don't know it. It's way better than snow. God bless. Tonight's the two year anniversary of my season two, episode four night. That's awesome. And it's an episode four. How sick is that? That's crazy. You think I planned something like that? I'm not that fucking smart. This is the after show. I do tend to curse a little bit, but. Uh...
only just the start Yeah, got to get you into my life, mama Gotta get you next to me Holding on me, kidding Only just the start Thank you. Well, that was fun. A little Chicago. Love Chicago. Reminds me of my dad. My dad used to have this 8-track. Uh, the Greatest Hits, Volume 1. And I used to put it in that Pinto he had. Damn it, man, I'm telling you. I learned some of the greatest music in the world because of my family. and uh, Primarily my father because he liked everything. So, Dad, I love you. Don't make me right now, because I'll, I'll slap you. Never at Abbey Road Studios, though. No. It would be nice, though. would have been nice. If any of you guys feel like you have to piss because of the sound of the pool, feel free. Go to the bathroom. Take your phone. Put them in the bathroom. What else from the old days? I don't know. Max is sleeping right now. Oh my God, he's so cute. But I'm sure he'd want to come out right now. But I don't want to wake up Christina. She's sleeping. So. Got any queen? Mm -hmm. Let's see what I can find here. Oh, that's a great song right here. I'll completely fuck this up. That's what I do. West Virginia. My father. My father always listened to John Denver. I gotta I gotta try to figure this out. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old. Older than the trees. Younger than the mountains. Growing like me, country road, take me home to a place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road, all my memories. Gather round her, miner's lady, stranger to blue water, dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye, country road.
West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home, our country road. Well, there's a bit of John Denver for you. Yayo. Yayo is a dark song. Me and my yayo, we fly far away from my woman's drag. Think she's on the rack again. I'm on my way. Packed a bag, drove to LA, left my woman behind. Think she's doing fine, so I get high. I, I get high. I. Me and my yo, we fly. Sitting Jones for a while, take a drag. Think I need a glass. And roll up my sleeve Find a vein for my need Lord, I feel so ashamed Does Jesus know my name? I haven't played that in ages. Okay. Too pitchy on it, so I will not sing it. That means I'm not hearing it right. I refuse to do that, the whole song. Fuck that. Dennis, they probably did, man, you know? We're in that generation where when we hear, you know, we hear music growing up, we, you know, it gets stuck in our psyche and it gets stuck in our souls. It just kind of sits there. No, Don, I wish I could have seen Pavarotti. My God, my favorite singer of all time. Wish I could have. Bob Isaacs, what's up, Bob? How you doing, man? Rock? Yeah, I love Garage Rock.
bits and pieces. It's getting late. And if I sing that chorus, forget about it. What a word. It's going to be very loud. Fucking panthers, coyotes, everything. Pouring at the door. Can't have it. Can't have it. Mm. Oh, uh, you're all welcome, man. Happy to happy to do this. I have seen Rush live. Yes, that was my dream concert, man. Seeing Rush, some flaming pie for Joe De Jesus. <laughs> Joe De Jesus. My voice is tired, Michelle, but thank you so much. It is. If you listen back, you'll hear everything I hear. I micromanage and I hear nothing but shit. It was written that I would love you From the moment I opened my eyes And the moment that I first saw you Gave me life under calico skies I will love you For as long as you like I love you For the rest of my life oh, Looking for ways to love you, never failing to fight by your side. While the angels of love protect us from the innermost secrets we hide, I will hold you for the rest of my life. I wish I remembered this, Joe. I would do it a lot better for you, man. I just don't. Long before those crazy soldiers gave a life under calico skies. Sorry, Joe. I'll do it for you another time and I'll learn it. You probably know it better than I do. It's a duet, and I don't have the harmony singer with me, so I'm not going to do that. Carrie, thank you. God bless you, man. God bless you so much. Thanks. <laughs> Lee, <laughs> you can't even make eye contact. Nick, Lee. Come on. Little Willow, oh my God, Little Willow is awesome, Patty. Oh my God. Ben Willow, wind's gonna blow you hot and cold tonight. Life as it happens, no 
anybody want you Well, oh, oh, long time No one's ever gonna break your heart Take your love away No hope your heart Leave me when I say Such a great song. Great tune, McCartney. Scott, I, I, you know what? I started learning Mona Lisa. I used to know it. I used to do it, but it was a long time ago. Uh, Beautiful Night is great. Someone's gone out fishing. Someone's high and dry. Someone's on a mission to the lonely long night. Some folks have a vision of a castle in the sky. I'm left standing wondering why You and me together Nothing feels so good Even if I get a letter from a local neighborhood Some folks have a vision Of a castle in the sky but I'm left standing, wondering why things could go wrong, things could go right, things could go wrong in the dead of the night. Let me be there, let me be there, let me be there with you in the dead of the night. I think we have to do a flaming pie concert, De Jesus. You and me. We learn it all and we do it. If you guys haven't heard that record and you guys think Paul McCartney was dead after the after Wings, get this album. It's called Flaming Pie. Make sure you get the album. Listen to every song. Soak your head with it. There are some gorgeous, gorgeous songs on there. Stuff from the Beatles era that he wrote back then and then recorded. Uh, at that time. Yes, Joe. I mean, that record is just like, oh my God. I don't do Night Swimming by R.E.M., but I do Night Swimming. John Mayer. No, I'm not kind of blind. I know the world is black and white Try to keep an open mind I just can't sleep on this tonight Stop this train I wanna get off and go home again I can't take the speed 
minute No, I can't But honestly We'll never stop this train Don't know how else to say Don't want to see my parents go So I play the numbers game and Try to save a life So I play the numbers game Find a way to save Life has just begun Stop the strain. I wanna get off and go home again. I can't take the speed, it's moving. No, I can't. Now I see we'll never stop this train. Great tune. I wish I knew that better. Chris, what's up, man? Good to hear from you. Janice, you dozed off. Don't you ever. Becoming a song that I'm 
cannot do. This reminds me of my mom and just have a hard time with it. Uh, love listening to it, but I cry too much when I listen to it, so. Mm -hmm. man good night have a great night thanks for sticking around everybody live from the porch this is the uh the after show and uh little chatting everybody's going nuts with the virus everybody wants to get sick and uh thanks for sticking around thanks for tuning in this is fun uh it's cool bobby Baby was your classmate. Giving away your age, brother. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. God bless. I'm a little. Can you help me make this call? See the number on the matchbook is old and faded. Living in L.A. With my best old ex-friend Ray God, she said she knew well, I sometimes hate it Isn't that the way they say it goes? Let's forget all that Give me a number if you can find it So I can call just to tell her I'm fine in the show Overcome the blow, I learned to take it well Only wish my words could convince myself That it just wasn't real but That's not the way it feels Operator Oh yeah, I love Jim Croce, man I'm sorry, I keep going, but I would have fucked it up, so I have to stop. Thank you, Lisa. That's a great song. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm doing the... Uh, I'm going to have to look up the words on that. Yeah. Isn't that the way they say it goes? Let's forget all that. Give me a number if you can find it So I can call just to tell her I'm fine Sure And overcome the blow I learned to take it well Only wish my words could convince myself That it just wasn't real That's not the way it feels How are you? Ms. Weingard, how are you? Surviving, I hope. Uh, Zeppelin, a little, little, it's a little late for Zeppelin, man. I did two hours on the piano. So, uh, I did lead with the band already earlier tonight, man. Michael Green, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Sorry, man, I just sang for three hours. I'm shot. My throat's starting to... It's got no control anymore. Once you've lost control, that's it. You got William Shatner flying the plane. You know. I can see 
Rain man, you're drifting fast. <coughs> it's so true, man. I'm going out. I'm starting to go. Starting to go. Starting to go. Walk on part of the wall 
little Floyd. I'm tired, man. My voice is gone. It's going on three and a half hours now. Enough is enough. For all of you that are still listening, expecting something, or expecting it to sound halfway decent, go f*** yourselves. Okay. <sighs> That's what happens. Three hours. I never covered that song, Michael. It's a great song. Same old Lang Syne, yeah. Great tune. I always wanted to learn that too, Mike. Never did. Train on. That's it for the plane. Everybody, we can sift out all the, the other people and we can hang now and talk. <laughs> I am I have stepped away from the guitar, Marianne. Ah, June, thank you. Nina, thank you so much. Exactly. You don't want to get the corona through the through the FaceTime. Food poison. Oh, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> How do the songs get on the radio? I don't know. You want to figure that one out? There's a million musicians watching right now with you that all write great stuff, and we're all asking that same question. It's not like it used to be. You can't just, uh, you know, even if you write a great song, it's no guarantee it's ever going to go anywhere. Where did the beard go? I don't know, man. I woke up one morning, it was getting more and more gray. I'm like, what am I going? What am I shooting for, Joe? You know? I don't know. I overshot the runway with the beard. I like it. I'm going to grow it back, though. I am. It helps me take the, the uh, focus off my face. Nice. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I'm going for the Kenny Rogers thing soon. Look at this. It's starting to happen. Guy. I'll have cat face really soon. Ah, oh, Judy, thank you so much. Ah, oh, thanks, Marianne. Thank you. I try to cover it as much as possible. Favorite guest performer, David, would be uh, Brian Johnson. Still, I don't know. He just owned it, man. Stepped up and sang his ass off. <laughs> yeah. It does, Joe. You know, I don't want to be carrying around, you know, somebody coughs in my face, sneezes, gets caught on a hair on my beard. At least this is like a, you know, it's like a snatch patch. <laughs> you know, you can get away with that. Yeah, Marie, you're right. His face was horrific. <clears throat> of course he likes to be a Jen. 
Pickles? Of course he likes the beard. Because he's got the beard. This thing's driving me crazy now. It just I feel like something went wrong on my chin. I'm trying to knock it off. In quarantine, having a quarantini. Yes. And when I lay like this, like I lay back like this, I get the whole, look at the triple neck I get. Look. Look. See? There's no, there's no easy way to look at me. So I just, I, you know, sometimes you got to face facts, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> Joey, flat leaving. But uh, hope you guys are all healthy anyway and you're not dealing with shit yourselves. Everybody healthy on here? Healthy and happy? <laughs> good, well, that's good. Oh, yeah, that show was emotional. Oh, Lisa, really emotional. I had to get that first show out of the way after she passed because it was uh, really, really, really emotional. Well, of course, mentally unstable. It's New York. I brought a little crazy down here with me. So far, so good. God bless, Michelle. That's great. Well, Joe, you know, maybe you're a carrier. Did you ever think of that? Or maybe nobody else has it because you do. It's stuck in your fucking beard. That's why I shaved mine. you got cooties on your beard now. Lisa, that's awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah, like I said on the post when I first saw it, it's, uh, you know, somebody paid somebody to get that in there. It's in your beard. How's your Chinese food? Helped an old lady find hand sanitizer. That's good. Kids are inside uh, playing uh, either recording uh, songs or uh, playing video games or watching something. I'm outside. It's nice and peaceful. Oh, yeah, it's peaceful. Calm. Ah, my cousin Vinny's the best. Well, Joe, you know. Bat shit, pig shit, you're gonna, you know, it's happening, whether you like it or not. Somehow the two are commiserating and creating, the two youths are commiserating and creating the virus. Bat shit, pig shit. And then of course, and then, of course, you gotta go on a, I got to go on a fucking binge and watch Contagion, Outbreak. Me and Christina, we went on like this binge and we just watched movies of people with skin falling off and dying with a 50% mortality rate. And what, uh, I mean, I, it creates obsession, you know? And then you're dreaming about it. Right before I wake up. My legs fall off and I wake up looking to see if I have legs. But I'm fucking madness. Uh, what's a ute? Uh, they're two youths. 
Your Honor. I'm telling you, Michael, no joke. You know what I mean? Like, the more we get around it, the quicker our bodies will create the, uh, you know, get immune to it. Look at what we've survived so far. You know what I mean? Think about it. The defense is wrong. Why is it a trick question? The whole store has the flu. So I wore this. Oh, 2002, the park bench, the dark stench. The first time you heard stiletto. Ah, oh, stiletto's a great tune. I'm glad we could have introduced you to that. It has posi traction. Would be the Chevrolet Corvette, which would never be confused with a Pontiac Ford Tempest. <laughs> oh, the great movie. Oh. Yeah, you blend. Mrs. Riley, and only Mrs. Riley. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> what the f is going on here? I'm going mad. <laughs> Buick Skylock in metallic mint green paint. <laughs> That's the best. Ah, George, I'll text you tomorrow, brother. You can help me out a lot, man. So we'll talk. I got. I got. Definitely got to download that program and. You know, have some fun with that. Yeah, Chris Bates, of course. Uh, I'm still going because I'm a degenerate. The time like times like these years ago, I'd be sitting at a poker table right now for 14 hours. At least I don't do that anymore. See, I drop bad habits. You got mud in the tires. You got mud in the tires. M mud in the tires? Mm. Well, it's just a figure of speech. Everybody lives in, down here knows. One tire spins and the other tire. Of course the casinos are closing. Think about the germs flying around in that freaking place. All right? You got people going in and out of the bathrooms, wiping their ass and touching the chips. What do you expect to get? You get corona, you get assholer, you get every kind of fucking disease you can imagine. What are they going to do after every hand? They're going to they're gonna spray the chips with, with uh, you know, freaking Lysol? I'm telling you, we went through the Mexican airport. No joke. Went to do the show with Billy. When I landed in Mexico, I got off the plane and went into the freaking thing. I'm telling you right now, they were blowing Lysol through the air conditioning system. Could barely fucking breathe. It was that bad. I I'd rather drink a Corona than smell what I I almost died. Um, uh, gross. I'm telling you, Lysol can be disgusting too. I hate to tell you. I mean, Lysol, Lysol. The smell of Lysol makes me fucking sick too. I'm sorry, Carson. I'm very, you know, I'm bound up here. I'm bound, what am I gonna do? I get very excited. I am. I'm, I'm ready to fall into this chair. My head's part of this. I went to the Coconut Creek Casino just for you. <laughs> Assholer is definitely a pandemic. 
already. Pickles, absolutely. George, every casino has shit on the chips. You think people go in the bathroom and really wash themselves the way they're supposed to? Think about it. You know, people, they get very, you know, they're very inquisitive. They go in, they wipe their ass, and they got to smell their finger just to make, you know, see if they went through the paper. And then they don't wash their hands. They walk out into the casino, they come back out, okay? And then they start shuffling the, the cards, go around, and you think you're staring at an ace of spades? Turns out it's an ace of... I mean, you think you're staring at an ace of clubs? It's really an ace of spades. You think it's an ace of clubs because they shit all around the spade to make it look like a club. That's what happens at the casino right now. Coronas are us. It's all over. And that's where it goes. Can I tell you? These are the things I think about. I, I, I don't know. Call me crazy. Of course every tournament's been canceled. What are you going to play? Think about it. What game are you going to play, Raz? Oh, Lord, what a mess. It's a mess. Fucking mess, I tell you. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I'm telling you now, you want me to, you want me to go to, a, like, the thought of going to, the thought of playing a poker game, I was at the Hard Rock the other night, okay? I stayed at the Hard Rock because... We did a show in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we were supposed to do a show the next day in Miami, so I decided to stay in between, maybe play some cards. But not even thinking, you know, like in my right mind, what am I even fucking thinking about playing cards, okay? And you want to talk about the devil and how he tests you and really tempts, and God lets him do this because God, in his own way, is hilarious and sadistic and loves to laugh at us. Okay, because this is what we do. I, we, we laugh at each other, right? When someone falls down the stairs, we fucking laugh. You think God's not laughing too when we do, as long as we don't get hurt? All right, so, I, 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 I don't know. I'm at the casino. I'm not inside. I'm in my room. And I do my coin flip, because I have to do a coin flip to ask God what he thinks I should do. It's the, it's the patented move to do the coin flip. If I don't get the answer I want, I make it three out of five, you know, two out of three, three out of five. I do what I do. I actually called down to see if they had an Omaha game because it's the only game I'll play now. I won't even play Texas Hold'em anymore because I'm a degenerate now from playing the other, from playing Omaha. That now I'm desensitized, like going from uh, Playboy to Pornhub. And this is what happens. And now I called down and they asked I said, do we have an Omaha game? And the lady goes, we do. It's a 2-2 game. I said, is the game full? No, no. We still have, we have two seats open right now. You want to talk about Satan trying to just, mm, go ahead. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I packed my bag. I ran out of there so freaking fast. And I'm so glad I came home and didn't play that game. Because I can guarantee you right now, I would have had shit all over my hands from those chips. I don't care what you can tell me. I think people actually take chips into the bathroom with them and stick them in their ass crack and then come back out to the game. That's what I really think happens. That's how dirty casinos are. Everybody touching the fucking drinks. Uh, you touch this, touch... Everybody's touching everything in the casino. Every, the buttons, the fucking, you know, slot machines. Uh, I, I can't. How do you not? How do you not skeeve to the point where you literally want to? I, I skeeve. Even thinking about it, I skeeve. I want to throw up. If somebody tells me they had a, if you tell me right now you have a stomach virus, and you live four thousand miles away, you tell me you have it. I guarantee I caught it from you, and I get it tomorrow. That's what happened. I skeeve. How do you not skeeve? In a casino, think of all the shit you're passing around, the cards, everything, mess. It's a mess. I'm sorry. It's a mess. People are disgusting. If you haven't figured that out by now, human beings are nasty ass people. Nasty. It's just, it's ridiculous. This whole thing. Who's touching who? Who's touching it? You're worried about, you're worried about a bat, you're worried about bat shit? What about human shit? What about people touching their ass and scratching their ass and then shaking your hand? Oh, Nice. 
No, I can't. I can't take it. I can't. Skeeve, I'd rather stay in the freaking house and that's it. Stay in the house. Jump in the pool. There's chemicals in the pool. Corona can't survive this freaking pool. There's no way. It's 100 million degrees. It's, it's, like, burn, it's like burning the evidence. It, it's insane. I don't, I don't know how everybody's even... I am, I am beyond OCD. This virus fits perfectly into my nature, which is stay the fuck away from me or I'll bitch slap you in the throat. Don't even come near me. Don't spit. Don't touch. Don't move. Don't touch my shoulder because if you touch my shoulder, I'm guaranteed to touch it and somehow get it from my shoulder. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Throw up. Bat oh, airplanes? Oh my, don't even get me started on the fucking airplane. Don't even get me started. Think about what's going on in an airplane. It's pressurized. You understand what that means? There's no air escaping anywhere. You walk, they, they come on the plane, they sit next to you, they sit in the back, you hear people hacking, they're sneezing, they're doing whatever. Where do you think these fucking germs are going? Where do you think they're going? Oh, what a mess. Humans are a mess. A cat will take like 20 minutes and clean his own ass. Humans, forget about it. We dab. We don't see anything on the paper. Oh, we're good. Out the door. No wash, no wipe, no... Out the door. Little dab will do you. I don't see anything. Boom. Animals, I've watched my cat with her legs open, reach down in a position that I can't even fucking imagine and lick her asshole for three hours. Three hours. You want to talk about OCD? You want to talk about animals or OCD? It's a mess. Absolute mess. This whole thing is a mess. I got to tell you. It's a mess. You can't tell me this, that some sick, sadistic human being didn't start this thing. You can't tell me. Oh, of course we kissed the dog after he licked his ass, because the dog's a dog. See how, see how freaking racist we are? Any other animal, we're like, oh, you know, but a dog, <laughs> all over you, sh shit everywhere. Oh, well, look, he kissed me. And you could smell the shit, too, and you still kiss him. You know it. You're poisoned. A city bus? Oh, my God. Forget it. Trains, planes. A plane? I, I can't, I can't. I can't even believe I fly on an airplane. If I didn't get this gig with Billy, I would have never flown on a freaking airplane. Ever. I did fly before, it was all horrible. I would have never done it again. She works in the, in the cage at the casino? You mean where the Holy of Holies, Luann, where everybody hands their shit, their ass? To the, can you count these? And then she counts out the money, which has been touched also by the asshole on the dollar bills and you get double ass you get chips and then you get money ass cash ass cash it's a fucking mess i'm telling you this world's a mess human beings crazy what a species kill each other for a fucking rock think about it and we have conscience, you know? We have consciences to, to know better. And what do we, think of, what, think of what humans do to each other. I don't even care. Disgrace. Look at me, I've been sitting here wiping my eye for the last 40 minutes. I'm gonna wake up with pink eye for sure because I know I probably did the same thing everybody else is doing. I quit, I quit. And I'm OCD, I got fucking hand sanitizer, soap everywhere. And you're like, Touch the piano. Uh. Oh my God. No, I got the, uh, Jen, I got the, uh, the bidet. And we still got some toilet paper left. A little, you know, little, you know, little tap. Get nice and clean. 
Let's talk about bidets also. Can we just talk about a bidet also, okay? The concept that the water washes everything off and then you totally clean after, Hey? Okay? No. No, you can't, after a fresh, you know what, when you really gotta go, you can't go right to a bidet. It shoots the fucking water at your asshole like a laser. Where do you think it's splattering to? You can, you can almost, you can practically taste it. It's the, you gotta get one, you gotta get the, we have the old school bidet where it just shoots like upward with the nice, you know, with the nice floaty water. Like this. Not the laser that shoots up your asshole and blows the shit everywhere like it's fucking Afghanistan. No. I can't. You can't, you can't tell me that a bidet makes you clean like that. And when you smell what's coming off of you after time on a bidet like that, it's disgusting. You know it's shooting everywhere. It's like a fucking shower. It's gross. It's a shit shower. It's a shit show. Listen, get the right bidet or don't sit on one at all. Wet a fucking paper cloth. Go get an old t-shirt that you're going to donate to somebody. Wipe your ass with that. Clean it. Throw it out. Wash your hands. Sanitize. Do what you got to do. You got people in the stores now with the freaking... They're making sandwiches with the gloves on and then they take the money and they do whatever. Are you kidding me? Money? You get a $20 bill from somebody that you don't know. Guaranteed it's got cocaine on it. Methamphetamines, I don't want to tell you other things that might have on it. Sexy juice, ass, everything you can imagine. I, how, how, do, oh, please, I can't. How people, I, I don't understand how people could, can survive. How we're even, how we're still even talking. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. You got the fucking air dryer that comes on after and blows your ass after. You know, you know the first bidet I ever sat on that I really that I was like blown away by, and it was the it was the sharpshooter. It was like Lee Harvey Oswald aiming at my fucking asshole. It was Big Poppies from the Red Sox. We did the show at Fenway, the first show we did with Billy six years ago. And I walk in there and I see this whole thing on top of the, the toilet, and I'm like, I don't even gotta go to the bathroom, but I'm I'm interested, right? I don't even care if I gotta go. So. Sit down, nice. I can't tell you. I mean, maybe there's something wrong with my ass. But I would. it hurt so bad when it hit me that I was like, how does anybody enjoy, how can you enjoy this? It's like a, it was like a live colonoscopy on Big Poppy's fucking bidet at Fenway Park. There you go, privileged information. Oh my God. If you've never seen the movie Why Him, watch the movie Why Him. One of the funniest freaking movies you will ever see. And there's a scene where, where uh, James Franco, uh, was, it, I forget the name of the guy that's on the toilet, and the other guy who's a great actor, he does this freaking thing, and he's and he's talking him through the whole thing. And they do a, they literally did a, you have to see this movie in this take on the on the bidet. Watch it from YouTube even. Uh, the bidet scene in Why Him with James Franco. And they did a 50, they did a fact, 50 minute take and couldn't get, they only got one take, I think, in 50 minutes because they were laughing so hard the whole scene. The outtakes are absolutely hysterical. Yeah, I mean, you know. Hey, Don, I'm, I just got mine. I'm good. My ass is good. Thank God. God bless. One last thing to work about. I can't, no. Why Him is the name of the movie. Yeah, James Franco. Great movie. Absolutely funny movie. And the, 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 the housekeeper, whoever, his the, whoever the guy, he's got this accent that is just hysterical. His accent is absolute shit fest. It, he's got like this great accent and he uses it the whole movie. He's freaking hysterical. I'm telling you, the scene on the bidet, I was crying when I, when I watched that scene. Because when you first experience a bidet, it's a whole different world. But why does it shoot this way? I don't get that. I'm going on Shark Tank, and I'm going to create a better ass wiper than that. Because the laser, 
I'm going to get a utility patent from an asshole. Think of how beautiful that is. Exactly, Kenneth. After something like that, you know, if you get really sick or something, you can't tell me that, that, that that's doing it. My old school bidet is way better. Except it's like a urinal. You're sitting on a cold urinal, but it shoots up nice, and it's it doesn't like splatter it, you know, splatter your ass all over the place. It's nice. It cleans you nice, and you walk away feeling good about it. You know, it oh yeah. All right. Enough of this. This is a shitty conversation. Just get that off of this, please. Can we get off of this? Let's get off of the bidet too. I'm telling you, Michelle. Uh, Neministic, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not all it's cracked up to be. It's definitely cleaner than just, you know, taking your whatever, your poop and s smearing it on. Yeah, but my God, man. You know, I mean, like, it's not, that, it's, the science is not perfected yet. I haven't seen one that's perfected yet. Where you don't have to do anything. You can't just go on a bidet and not wipe your ass too. You still gotta wipe. You do. Sorry to break everybody's heart, but you do. You still gotta wipe. Oh, what a fucking horrible conversation this is. What did, the, what did this show turn into? This is what the coronavirus did. It's got everybody talking about ass. I brought it up. What's wrong with me? That's the question. I feel like the emoji right now. How come I never went on those talent shows? Uh, it's, I don't know. You mean like The Voice and uh, these other shows? I, I think it's, I think, I think that they're, they're amusing, but uh, I did start it. But I think they're stupid shows. I think they take advantage of people and, you know, all of a sudden your, your talent's measured because on a certain week, somebody else, the best about those shows, like The Voice, is when they put everybody into the groups. So now you came on there as a singer thinking you're going to sing solo songs and win a, win a show. By the way, when you win the show, when you win, you make shit. You make exactly what was on the bidet. That's what you make, okay? And I'm telling you now, you make nothing. No money. It's, a, it's called a 360 deal. The only people making money are the comp is the company and it's the, the, the record company, the producers of the show, the networks. And these poor kids come on there, okay? And they kill it. They, they absolutely kill it. And all of a sudden, you know, some, you know, like America's Got Talent. You got a kid that comes on, sings beautifully, and then you got, you know, some guy who brings a bear on the fucking stage who knows how to, who knows how to twirl a fucking baton, and this kid's out. The kid's out of the show, and he thinks he's lost forever, and he sucks now, and he's terrible at what he does, and he doesn't even want to pursue his career anymore because of a bear. A bear. This is what we're talking about. This is how insane those shows are. And then they get into the groups in, in The Voice where they put you in a group. But I didn't go on the show. You, nobody goes on the show to be in a group. This isn't fucking Menudo. Are you kidding me? You're in front of 80, 80 million people. And now because you went in a group that sucks and somebody else sucked in the group and now you're out of the show, you're off the show? Get the hell out of here. Stupid. Stupid shows. They're stupid shows. They, they, I'm sorry, they're stupid. Everybody wants an immediate. They want fame, they want this, they want the quick money. The money, the money, the money. Like fuck that, like, the, like that, uh, you know, whatever movie. Everybody wants it quick. Oh, I get it quick on a show. I, fuck those shows. Earn it with the sweat on your brow. Go play in front, go do bar mitzvahs, go do weddings, go do this, go do solo gigs in a, in a piano bar for 10 years. Earn your shit. Nothing gets handed to you easily. That's all. These shows are too quick, quick, make you famous. Come on. Nothing is earned. If you don't earn it, if you don't work and you don't earn it, then you, you know, then you're quick up and you're quick down. That's not a career. Do you want a career in music? No. If you want a career in music, then you don't do one of those shows. Because 99% of the people, obviously, 99.9% .9 of the people don't make it. They don't win. You don't win. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter how good you sing, how you... 
the movie Give Me the Money. That's uh, oh, Give Me the Money, the Money. It's, it's Sid Caesar from uh, Vacation, Vegas Vacation. I got the money. I got the. Money. And then he dies. It's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got Show Me the Money from uh, Jerry Maguire. Like another great movie. And listen, I want I want to also clarify something about the difference between the music industry now and the music industry back in the day. But there's not that much of a difference when you really hear it out. But the truth is, there was a difference between being rich and being famous. Back in the day, the two were usually synonymous. If you were famous, you were probably rich. Because musicians actually used to get paid. That's what happened. It's amazing. But before Napster and all this bullshit, we actually got paid money for selling things and whatever, or getting a record deal and getting advances that you, that you owe. It's like basically like a college loan. You know, you get college tuition, you pay what you gotta pay. That, that's what old record deals were like. Um, but in this day and age, it's just not like that anymore. And you can, be, you can be famous on YouTube. You can have 10 million hits. You can have this, you can have that. You can have blah, 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 blah. That doesn't mean you're rich. Doesn't mean you have any to more toilet paper to wipe your ass during the coronavirus than we do. That's all. You think J-Lo has got somebody in her yard right now cutting down trees, shaving trees off, making toilet paper for her ass? Are you fucking kidding? She's got to go, go to the store too and buy toilet paper to wipe that ass. Everybody does. I'd rather be neither, Donna. I'm happy to be where I'm at and I'm grateful. But you know what? Both of them can lead to bad things for the soul. Rich or famous. They can both lead to bad things. And you hope to keep it together and you keep your feet on the ground and you keep praying to God every day that... You don't act like a freaking idiot. And that's all there is to it. That's the best thing you could hope for. Yeah, it makes no, it makes no sense to think you have anything anyway. All right? Think of everything we have, we got right now. We have nothing. If the government closes down and shuts everything down and nobody has ways to make money, then that means nobody's making money and nobody's paying their bills. That means, you know, GMC and all these car dealerships and all these other places, they're not getting fucking paid either. So at some point, maybe somebody's got to step up, the president or something like that, shut down all profiteering in some way. In some way. I mean, I know there's, you know, that doesn't just solve it all. There's a million snags with that. But, you know, give everybody breaks for three months. If nobody could work, then shut the fucking car companies down. The bill, bill collect, everybody's bills should just seize and stop for two or three months. And let humanity be good to each other again and actually give a shit about each other rather than just making a dollar off of it. That's the problem. Oh, well, it's one of the problems. I hope so too, Michael. Think about all the people that used to say all the time, you know, there's no job that's secure. You know what I mean? There is no secure job anymore. People that I, I, I know, I, I had Max father-in-law who worked for Pan Am. And you know, the, the, the market tanked, something went down, the company took a shit, Lockerbie happened, all right? The plane went down, he lost his whole fucking pension. These secure jobs, go to school, go to college, get a secure job. Am I against it? No, but it doesn't always work, right? Just the same way as in a situation like this, it can also hurt a musician who didn't go that route. Because now nobody's coming to shows, so there's no way to earn money if you can't do gigs, right? So now the, the, the people that are keeping their jobs are the doctors, the nurses, and the people that have the secure jobs. But it's like a paradigm, it just shifts all the time. And that shifts throughout our, our universe because God's trying to show us that there is no freaking way that you are secure. You think you have money in the bank? What if the bank tanks? And your shit gets locked up. And all your money gets locked up. Nothing, nothing is secure in this world. Nothing. But your breath and your lungs, your family, and your belief in God or whatever, you, whatever it is you believe in, 
But man, nothing is secure. You got money in the bank, you got money in stocks, all the people were, were all the people were freaking sucking each other off two months ago because the economy, oh, the stock market, the stock, look at it, look at it right now, in the shitter, in the bidet, we'll wipe, stock market can wipe their ass in my bathroom. It comes, it goes, it comes, it goes. This is life. This is what happens. Nobody's got it down. Nobody's got it right. We're all just squirrels trying to find a nut, and that's the truth. Nobody knows. I know, Jen. I mean, I'm not trying to depress everybody or anything, but I'm just giving you the facts. It's a fucked up world, man. A crazy world. It really is. Everybody takes the hit, Kenneth, 100%. Nobody's immune to it. Nobody. And the minute you start to think, oh, well, I'll stick. No. God goes, Shh. Takes your ass right out. How about this? What if this virus, which most viruses are, they come, they go, they do it, they wreak havoc, they, you know, mess with people and, you know, we figure it out, our bodies get immune and we figure it out and things happen. But what if what if what if we're gonna, you know, maybe maybe we're just being lulled to sleep here with this thing. Because it's not it's not killing everybody, right? Not all dying, right? So it's like we're being prepared for something maybe even a larger collapse or a larger thing that's gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna hit with a fucking meteor next month. I mean, or, you know, who knows? But I mean the key is Keep your head together. Do the best you can. Love each other. Be good to each other because that's the shit that counts. That's the shit that matters in the end. Sing your songs, but sing them for the right reasons. You know, right? Sing them because you love to sing them. Listen to it because you love to listen to it. Be a nurse because you love to be a nurse and take care of people. You know, we all... We all have the desire within us to do what we do for a pure reason. And then all of a sudden money gets involved and bills get involved. And now all of a sudden the passions that we had become things that we need, they're necessities and we have to earn from them. And that's a hard thing because the passion goes out the window then, right? And sometimes God has to literally slow us the fuck down and say, really? You think you got it? You think you're good? And remove everything like this, sitting home for a month. No playing, no working. You think it's gonna stop me from playing music? Fuck no. But if I treated this as purely a job and purely a whatever, and money was the you know the biggest thing, well then yeah, I'd be having a hard time with this right now. But come on, we got to be smarter than that. We all do what we do. We went to college because we had, for certain things, or we you know did gigs and we did whatever. We followed our passions because they were passions, not because they were gonna make us money. So. If the money starts to tank because of what's going on in the world, does that mean the passions have to stop and we don't do what we love anymore? We don't take care of people anymore? We don't help other people? We don't, then you're an animal. Then you're an animal. It is what it is. What are you going to do? Well, yeah, good times. Crazy world, crazy shit, but you know what? Hold it together. The poker's definitely gonna give you corona, Jen. You need to stop dealing cards. Gotta stop dealing cards. How many times somebody hits a one-outer on the river playing poker and you say to them, you just pulled that right out of your ass. You pulled that card out of your ass. They literally did. It's dirty. And you're sitting there going. <laughs> dealing your freaking cards. Hand after hand. Chips. No. Get rid of it all. Get rid of it all. Jennifer, two months things will be better. I hope so. But, you know. What if they're not? You know, what if they're not? How you living? That's what's important. It's all about toilet paper and love right now.
<laughs> Rich, yeah. Oh, OTB is another place, yeah. Any of those places. Lysol wipes. Uh. Danielle, no, it's not. It's never promised. Be thankful for every breath. Donna, nobody's good at cards. The better you get at cards, the more you end up losing. That's poker. Cosmic fucking joke that game is. Is what it is. I don't have a fountain, no. But uh, yeah, we do. We have like a little water, little water thing. The water runs. We just keep that on all day long. Keep the doors open. It sounds beautiful. Well, Chris, you better take care of them if you've been caring for somebody with it. Take care of yourself. I know this, yeah, it's, it's water running constantly. Amy, I never ate, from, I always hated eating from the face. Always. <clears throat> mom's right here, by the way. That's my mom right there. Literally, she's inside the cross. Good thing I don't do this often because I like to look at myself this close uh, for too long. Yeah, I don't know. I might find a lot of things wrong. I gotta stop looking. Yep. Mom's ashes are in here. screws on the top and I guess that's where they put in the uh, in the ashes well I don't know if I about me not look at my age but I certainly I think I feel older than I look feel older Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. A lot of people in our family got something made up. My dad's got the main, main stuff. Well, listen, it's a crazy planet. Crazy week. And, uh, crazy month. It's been crazy two months since mom passed. And then this. All this stuff. It's, uh, I think I think uh, God's telling us just to, the universe is telling us to just slow the fuck down. That's all. Stop hating each other on Facebook. You arguing over stupid shit. You know what happens every like 10, 10, 15 years. Something made some major event happens to make everybody care about each other again, and that only lasts for about two months, three months. And people start to forget, like nine eleven, like everything. That's the classic example. And, you know, I think no matter what is happening right now, at least it's gotten people away from, you know, arguing, killing each other, and 
over over just having a different belief system than somebody else, which is just maddening to me. It's maddening. It's, I, you know. And think about it. Everybody thinks what they think because they really people are people are voting. People are voting by the issue, you know, that's important, most important to them, or issues that are most important to them, whether it be a religious thing or whether it be whatever. You can, I mean, everybody's in a different place in this world, in a different place in life, so, you know. If you're making a lot of money, you don't, you know, most of the time you, you, you want to vote a conservative in, so they'll drop your taxes and they'll do whatever. You know, and there's the other times in your life that I've, that I've, I've had both. I've seen so much in my life. Ups, downs, money, no money, you know, I mean, bottom line, plan on having, plan on having no money. That's the bottom line. Plan on having nothing. Plan on, you know, assume the worst at all times. Assume the worst, because then you, then you stay on the ground. If anything can happen, it probably will. That's what I usually think to myself. Yeah, and people go, you really do? Of course I do. If you can't imagine it, then if you can imagine it, it can happen. Listen, you guys have a great night. I'm going uh, to go jump in that nice hot pool and enjoy myself. And... Uh, well, I'm not in my early 40s, Danielle, but I am in my 40s. <laughs> Let's just say I'm at the top of the meter. I'm at the top of the meter. I'm heading there. But I wish you guys all the best, honestly. Everybody, uh, stay healthy. Be good to each other. Enough of the petty shit, man. Turn it off. Just turn off the petty stuff. You know, when it all comes down to it, we have breath in our lungs and we're all on our deathbed. None of the bullshit matters. Money, this, that, viruses, cars, blah, blah, blah. It, nothing matters. Just uh, stay pure. Try the best you can. I'll see you guys again on uh, on Wednesday. I'm probably going to do another show on Wednesday. And um, I'm going to think of a theme for this Wednesday since I'm doing a bunch of shows this month, uh, Facebook Live. So I'm going to think of a bunch of themes. Maybe I'll do certain artists, you know, like a, a concert of certain artists or um, pick a genre, pick genres. We'll do, we'll do some stuff and make it, make it interesting. Love God, love each other. That's all I got to say. Be good to each other. We're all humans. We all go through the same shit, just at different times. Nobody's better than anybody else just because you didn't go through something at a different time and somebody else did. Just be good to each other. God bless, guys. All right? You guys have a great night. And uh, thanks for sticking around. And I'll see you guys again on Wednesday. I'm going to be working this week a lot on, on the, the mix for Heroes. So hopefully that song will be released uh, pretty soon. And uh, we'll get that out. And uh, I love you guys. Thanks always for supporting and hanging out. And uh, I'm going to go inside and get something to eat now because Anthony Casamano, that beautiful soul, delivered some nice food to the house again. So I'm going to have a slice of pizza. I'm going to go in the pool and I'm going to relax. God bless. You guys have a great night. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys Wednesday, hopefully. God willing, I'll see you. Uh -huh. Don't ever make plans. Say you're going to go here, go there, go to... You don't know. God willing. All right? God bless.